Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Hasu League quarterfinal. Upper left hand corner, we got top speed starting as the yellow Zerg. Bottom right hand corner, we have his Polish rival, Hedrick, starting as the blue Zerg. This is on Neo Dark Origin, which I think can actually be very interesting, ZVZ, because of these ramps in particular, where you end up with. I should leave the map while I'm still finishing that thought, because first of all, you got a ramp. To where, where's the ramp? Where's the ramp? There's the ramp. You got an inverted ramp to work with, so. The, Zergen clusters can work there, but also you have these ramps where you can kind of peel back and get in, end up with better concavity with Zergen clusters right there. And so depending on how heads up you are with the Zergling micro in the early stages of the game, it can be advantageous. But also, there's a near this third, if you think about Mutalus play, is somewhat more defensible than usual because it's still within the, the overall... It's not quite so far away where third base is out of the question in a long-term ZVZ game. I'm wondering how many ZVZ games in, on Neo Dark Origin have gone to the... I'm, I remember, I believe, there was a New York LAN ZVZ that went the distance where it had absolutely everything. And I'm remembering some other matches, ASL, and we're seeing Overlord... Wow, look at this. Over Extractor from... Zazu, so uh, so not dropping it early, dropping it a little bit later, but we have the spawning pool opposite end, and what this, so we got op, uh, over pool opposite end, and so what that does is that is just going to nudge, uh, it's a theoretical counter I believe to over pool, because what you end up with is a slightly faster layer, a slightly faster Mutalisk threat as an out on the field and in theory what that leads to especially on a two-player map which I kind of like this build on this map in particular so it's a long distance two-player map it allows you to potentially pick off your opponent's overlords before they're able to respond so that could be the shift here in the match for Zazu which would put him up three games over his opponent. We got three Zerglings being built. He does need to invest the initial Zerglings to defend. And this is an inverted map ramp. It looks like he's going to go Lair into Zerglings. And actually, the Lair timing surprises me a little bit. So Zazu's still going to have more gas in the bank to work with. I was expe expecting the Lair a little bit faster. Might have been a mineral problem overall. But six Zerglings now making their way across. They are going to be spotted by that Overlord. So Zazu going to know the exact amount of Zerglings he needs to build. Keep in mind there is a... There is there are some minerals to the north that you can breach through. I believe there's like that temple as well. But it's still stacked temples, so I don't know that that's going to be viable. As far as a... I'm almost 100% positive it's not viable as far as just straight up Zergling runbys. The Zergling's holding midfield, but that second Overlord from Zazu making its way across to spot this. In base, second hatchery. We've seen this trick in the ASL. This is to go for some more protected lower surface mining. And an in base second hatchery here from Zazu. We do have the layer up both ends, but the spire surprisingly, I was expecting with the earlier gas, the spire to be up a little bit more rapidly for Hedgic, but it looks like the spire's up a little bit more rapidly or sorry, for Zazu. Instead, it's up a little bit more rapidly for Hedgic. The other advantage of the hatchery at this position is it provides a little bit of additional surface area to blockade along the south. The Overlord is making its way in. It's going to be able to ha uh, going to be able to see this location. So this Overlord's forfeit, but honestly, this could turn around to be decimating for Zazu because he's going to have the closer reinforcement point and two Overlords that I don't think he's going to be able to get out of position to defend. This Overlord's going to go into the abyss this overlord is potentially going to get hunted down and there's also the other thing with the zergling blockade is the drones on the low ground once it's in place they can straight up go through the zerglings i believe although it does create a bit of a interference attack area sort of thing so that second gas is potentially in play i think zazu has recognized he needs to get the overlords out of here but i think it is potentially a little bit too late and so we got five Mutalisks being constructed ahead of the five Mutalisks opposite end. 
but we've got looks like one additional scourge being constructed because we got that spare gas so we got and you can see where that gas advantage is playing out six mutalisk in construction so in theory and you can see hedgic now trying to trail down that mid game overlord top speed gonna go ahead and drop his natural expansion in the midst of this so playing a little bit risky here the mutalisk in flight looking to hunt down both those overlords the scourge trying to get ahead of this they're not going to be in time particularly for this overlord but might be able to defend the second and actually might be able to suicide into this overlord if hedgic pr uh, pushes it out too far forward but this is going to be a supply cap yeah and actually hedgic donating an overlord right there but recognizes he's got a superior mule discount is going to come down to micro so both players in the red a zergling somehow sneaking through okay there there's the hold the drone's getting to mining gas at the lower expansion. That's going to end up ahead of Zazu, but that's going to be coming in slower than it would be at a standard natural expansion. Zazu coming out of the red a little bit earlier, which might give him a little bit of room to equalize things. It looks like he's expending those additional resources on six Scourge to try to get an advantage in Air Army. Supplies are just about even, which means Hedgic is down a little bit of army, but I think that army is primarily in Scourge. Scourge currently on patrol mid-map. And Hedgic is ending up with, at least at the moment, more gas versus his opponent. But as time progresses, Zazu will be able to flip this. Because first of all, he's got three hatcheries instead of just two. But secondarily, he's going to be mining at a more efficient rate at the natural expansion. So Hedgic does need to start moving out and utilize it looks like the small army advantage to try to equalize things it looks like the mulus able to dodge the scourge the zergling going to go ahead and check out that natural expansion to make sure that nothing's here unfortunately that army going to make its way back across so might have missed a vision advantage opportunity a whole lot of zerglings making the way out for hedgic now but this might just run into that air arm it looks like okay hedgic wisely pulling backs praising this both directions Zazu's still been down a drone all this time but keep in mind that hasn't been as impactful as it would have been otherwise scourge getting picked off both sides it looks like more of them landed on Zazu's army however more late scourge moving in some counter scourge being picked off are they going to just dive into the overlord it looks like not maybe try to pick off reinforcements or some mutalists that aren't being microed force the micro both directions Supply dead even. One drone down, but on this side, but again, the more efficient mining for Zazu, keep in mind. It looks like two of those mutalisks have been hit by a scourge, but able to pick off that final one. The Zergling now running across, but and they, they're being spotted the entire way. So they're gonna have to draw back away from this mutalisk fleet. Fleet, mutalisk flock, a murder of mutalisks. Few of them, few of their numbers being picked off. The Scourge diving forward to see if the Mutalists were coming alongside. And Hedgic uh, down a drone now and needs to make something happen. He's been behind. He's not dropped his natural expansion. He's been behind on Larva. He's now down a worker. He has had the superior air fleet. He's actually all of a sudden searched ahead in supply, which actually surprises me a bit given the fact that Zazu's got this ground natural. Bit of a su supply cap right the second. Both players adding on Zergling speed late in the match here. But Hedgick's starting to move out. He's got a six supply lead. I don't know how he wrangled that. Maybe in the midst of this supply block, which might cost Zazu the game. Although landing a surprise attack mid map, is it going to be sufficient? Zazu actually retreating despite having superior mutalisks. Actually, evening the supply with that attack. The Mulus looking to engage. And it's going to be a split attack from Hedgic, so engaging at the natural expansion, but holding the Mulusks at the low ground. And now engaging, going to be able to pick off some drones. This is huge. And with the aggression, able to eke out a three worker lead. The Zergling's now cleaned up at the natural. An army lead for Zazu, but has lost an overlord. Could equalize things by taking down Hedgic's army, but it looks like is he's not going to pursue. More Scourge making their way out. 
and all of a sudden Zazu, falling behind despite having superior larva, the better gas mining, and other advantages. Hedgek surging his worker count, able to pick off some Zerglings midfield. Still anybody's game, although Zazu does need to... I would pull off gas for a moment. Oh, he's got two drones that weren't mining as well. It might be wise to just pull off gas for just a, a, a worker cycle to try to equalize things right this second. And then plop them right back on because right now his gas to mineral ratio is just slightly off. Getting more gas in than he has minerals to spend and that's leaving some latent larva for him. He is filling in the worker count a bit. Also filling in that air fleet. Group of Scourge still mid-map. A single Zergling wanting to scout whether that natural expansion's in play. We've had a additional, I believe this is two drones, six drones total. Scourge able to land on a Mutalisk. Mid-map, neither player has gone for additional upgrades on the Spire. And Hedgick all of a sudden with a superior army, superior worker count. He's mining much less efficiently as far as the, the gas ratio, but is somehow up gas overall. Six supply lead. I believe that's mostly in Zerglings, though. More Scourge fanning out, and I'm a little bit concerned that Zazu is donating. Oh, that Zergling able to get all the way into the main. He's actually going to see that he's up a third, interrupting the drones briefly. And this is provoking a counterattack from Hedgick. The Scourge... Walking across, engaging the Zerglings. Hedgick. So there's two overlords to the south. Those might be donated overlords, considering the Mutalisk count. As if the Mutalisks remain pinned here at the natural expansion. Instead, Hedgick actually resurfacing and picking off some Scourge in open field. He's slowly macroing up. And with... I'm not even sure if this is a drone advantage, honestly. With I think he might be up a mineral worker. I think he's up in Mineral Worker, is what comes down. He's got one little bit of minerals coming in more efficiently because of all these drones dedicated to the natural expansion. I think that's how that works out. Don't quote me on it, though. I say that a lot, but I think it's worthwhile. Zerglings engaging Scourge. Looks like an Overlord picked off that's putting Zazu in the red right when he needs to defend. Some additional drones getting picked off. Is Hedgick going to engage here? It looks like he does want to engage. The Mutal is slightly delayed. The rest of the Scourge flying up should be able to... Not just equalizing cover, but it looks like completely wreck Hedgick's army. But the Zerglings have dove into the natural expansion. They're now working on the drone lines there, creating a seven, sorry, eight worker lead. And they might be able to pick off the hatchery if they just punch it down. It looks like they have been cleaned up, but this is going to force a counterattack. Are there enough Scourge? Is there an evolution chamber? There's no evolution chamber. A creep colony is getting dropped. We need some sort of anti-air. Three Mutalists trying to force these Mutalists back. This could be the game-winning moment here for Zazu. Potentially, he's diving into the natural. Can easily pick off drones. There's nothing to stop them. Evolution Chamber getting dropped. I think Hedgick recognizing the problem. That Creep Colony not going to be able to provide any sufficient defense. But he does need to worry about the Scourge still. Zerglings, in the meantime, running to the natural expansion. Might be able to wipe that out. They're going to ignore it. Move all the way into the, into the main. So now, all of a sudden, this base trade... Sport Colony being built. There are Mutalisks at the main. And it's any... Okay, I think... I think... Zazu's got it. Sport Colony finishes. Zero drones now. For Hedgick. Still some drones out. Yeah, that should be it. So with that, Zazu looks like he has cemented the lead. He's still got a lot of territory where he can attack. Hedgick has a few resources remaining, but... With zero workers, it is Zazu's game to lose. But because it is the last match in a quarterfinal, he's still going to try to fight it out. I say that's commendable. All sorts of overlords exposed in the meantime. But yeah, Hedgick re recognizing it is just going to GG right there. Is it best of seven here? Because it looks like they're going to go to a uh, an additional game. 
I might have been misinformed, and it might be best of seven because they just called for an additional game. So I'm gonna follow the uh, the players here. Say it's probably best of seven in the quarterfinal. I'll look that up. But we got one more game behind this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.